Welcome back Welcome. everyone to another Welcome. episode of Double Clarinet. Now, for this episode, we will actually be going back to a beginner's lessons class. And we thought, who better to have this with than Kelly Laughlin, a private instructor joining us all the way from Chicago, Illinois, specializing in these quarantine lessons. She's been using her gift and talent to spread the world um, of clarinet playing all the way across the world just by virtual meetings. So please step up, Kelly, and give us a quick introduction about yourself. Uh, hey guys, um, my name is Callie. Um, I live here in Chicago. Um, yeah, I've been teaching private lessons during this quarantine. Um, uh, during normal life, I'm um, a freelance clarinetist around around the area. Um, I play with Lake Effect Clarinet Quartet, that's my chamber group. Um, and I also teach at four different high schools, uh, just doing private lessons at all of them. And yeah, so during this whole quarantine pandemic and everything, I thought it would be a great idea to start posting more frequently for the students out there who maybe, you know, can't afford to take private lessons during this, during this tragic time or who, you know, for whatever other reason, um, aren't getting the musical instruction that they normally would. Um, and so it's going pretty well so far, and um, I'm hoping to kind of keep this momentum going through the summer. All right. Yeah, guys, make sure you check out her YouTube channel and as well as her clarinet quartet. Both will be in the description down below. And so, as we said, for this episode, we will be going back to our beginner's class. All right, so we've got our plastic clarinets here. We have went back and found this all from our attic. And so we'll see how this goes. Well... If you guys are beginners, then you don't know how to put your instruments together. Oh yeah. So, so the first thing I want you to do is take your clarinet apart and put it back in the case. Two very boring minutes later. All right guys, All right. so the first thing we're gonna do is identify the different parts of the clarinet. So, I'm gonna just call things out and I'm gonna have you guys just just try to figure out, you know, what part of the clarinet I'm, I'm talking about, okay? So, the first one should be really easy. Um, I want you to find the bell. You know what a bell looks like, right? Ding, ding. Yeah. Yeah, is it, is it this thing? Um, no. Um, but okay. but that um. that you know kind of looks like a maybe maybe like a handball, but that's we're talking about like the Liberty Bell, like something maybe not that big, but like something that kind of looks like that. Um, oh oh, is it oh it's that's this thing that? Yes yes, that's the bell. Okay cool. So you get, you have to remember that. Okay, so don't forget because I'm gonna quiz mm -hmm. you afterwards. Okay, the next right, one is a bell. little bit harder. Um, we're going to identify the barrel. So it kind of looks like, you know, like a barrel, like kind of a cylindrical thing. Oh, then oh. it's this one. Then it's this one. This it's this one. Barrel. It's cylindrical. Yes, yes, that's it. That's the barrel. Okay, so don't forget that. So do you remember the bell? Yes. The bell. Yes, right here. Great. Good job. Okay, cool. So now we are going to identify, this is just a little bit harder, but I bet you can figure it out, the mouthpiece. Does it have any keys on it? Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 It doesn't have any keys at all. Is it this? Yes, that's it! Good job! Awesome! That's fantastic. Now the last pieces we're going to identify, these are called the body, these are the body pieces of the clarinet. So. I want you guys to grab the two pieces that we haven't yet identified. Yay! Okay, yeah, take them, hold them up. Good job, that's great. Okay, so one is the top joint and one is the bottom joint. Now... I think I put it together already on an accident. Stop it. Get some help. Okay, well, you're gonna, okay, you're gonna have to just wait for me to tell you when to put it together, otherwise this lesson is gonna take a very long time, okay? All right. Um, yeah, so anyway, so the top joint usually has the, um, what is this, the brand name on it, and the bottom joint has the most buttons of all. 
So the top joint has a little brand on the top, and the bottom joint has mm -hmm. so many more buttons. And then there's this little thing that sticks out in the back. Oh, yeah. Did you yeah. find that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yay. Okay. Good job. Now, hard. we're going to put the body of the clarinet together first, okay? Now, if you take the top joint, here we go, right here, and check this out. If you press these bottom buttons right here, you see a little thing down here going up. You see that? It's kind of yeah. cool how all this works, right? So you press here. this button, and, and that little thing goes up. That's called a bridge key. Now, I want you to okay. hold the top joint in one of your hands, and I want you to make sure you're pressing this button so that little bridge key goes up. And then you hold the bottom part mm -hmm. of the bottom joint together. Oh, that's, yes, that's looking good. Okay, cool. So down by this top joint, by your bottom, let's see, by the bridge key, mm -hmm. um, you'll want to put this thing, mm -hmm. this is called the cork. You wanna put the cork in at the top, just like this, and you want to make sure this little bridge key is lined up with this little bridge key. Okay? And you okay. want to be really careful not to make them uh, bend each other or break. You just want the top joint to be on top of the bottom joint bridge key. You guys following that? So it'll look kind of like this. This is the hardest part of putting the clarinet together, I think. All right. Got okay, something. cool. A little something. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So can you guys hold it with the top joint up here and the bottom joint down here? Let's see. Okay, I think I can see that pretty well. So yeah, great job. All right, so the next thing we're going to do right. is we're going to put on the bell of the clarinet. Now, do you remember what that is? Justin, good job. Justin, yeah. no. Oh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Good job. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so you just put that on the bottom joint, the, the bottom joint the one with all the keys. So now it's kind of starting to look like a clarinet, right? The instrument that you know yeah. and, and will soon very much love. So the next piece is the barrel. Can you guys get the barrel? And we're going to put the barrel. I got it. Let's, uh, you know, I didn't see that, Justin. Can I see that? Is that, okay, is that the barrel? Okay, it. good job. All right. It is Justin and Justin. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put that on the court at the very top. Just like that. Yeah. And then the last piece we're going to put on the instrument is the mouthpiece. Now, this is a little tricky. So if you look straight at your mouthpiece, you're gonna see you're gonna see an opening right here, okay? And it's like okay. all flat like that. Now, if you look at your clarinet and you turn around to the back, you're gonna see this big long line and then a hole. You guys see that? Good, yes. yeah. great, yeah. you guys are sharp. Okay, so, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you wanna make sure you line the, the table of the mouthpiece up with this big long line right there. So it's going to look like, it's hard to do on camera, but it's going to look something like this. All right. Let's see. And if you know it, and make if you didn't get good. it right the first time, you can twist it around and just make sure you get it. Now we're going to learn how to put on a reed and hopefully um, when you picked out your beginner clarinet, a little package was placed um, in your case with some little little reeds and maybe it looks like little candy package um, It's not candy. It's a reed like this. So I want you guys right. to open that okay. up And I want you to take it out and This is the thing you're gonna see so many clarinet players do okay when you take it out and I want you to put it in your mouth And I want you to get it also up like this and feel all cool now because you guys are like real clarinet players, expert, expert. clarinet players. All right. So look at that. All right. So you want to make sure that, that it's, um, you know, that it's pretty, um, saturated, but not like, 
covered in spit because then it's not going to like stay on your mouthpiece. So make sure you wipe it off a little bit before you put it on. You want to put that up against the table of the mouthpiece, this flat part of the mouthpiece right Ooh, here, just like that. Okay, and whenever you're, you're um, figuring out the placement of your reed, you want to make sure the tip of the reed and the tip of the mouthpiece are pretty close. Maybe leave a tiny hair space between the tip of the mouthpiece and the tip of the reed when you place it. Okay, and then right. you're going to use, uh, you, may, you may have acquired some sort of device that was like, on your mouthpiece. This is called a ligature. Really, really carefully, you want to put the ligature over the mouthpiece and reed without moving the reed position. And so all of your sound comes from the very tip of the reed, right? All of this vibration happens. So if you break the tip of your reed, yes. you're done. You have to throw it in the trash and you have to get a new one. So be really careful, because these are expensive, right? And you don't want mom and dad to get mad at you for breaking reeds all the time. Now, we're going to form our embouchure, and it can be really tricky at first, um, especially if your face isn't used to, you know, doing weird things, right? So um, don't feel bad if you don't get it perfectly right away. But right. we're just going to go over the basics. So embouchure means what you, it's what you do with your face when you play the clarinet, okay? So we're going to start with what you do with the bottom lip. So your bottom lip goes just a little bit over your bottom teeth. Now, if you can manage this, uh, flatten out your chin a little bit over your jawbone and bring your corners in toward the center like you're saying, ooh, like that, ooh, uh-huh. And then I want you to place your top teeth on the top of the mouthpiece. And then press down with your top lip on the mouthpiece. Now you don't want to curl your top lip over your top teeth because that's, that's a different kind of embouchure technique that I don't teach. So bottom lip over bottom teeth, corners, ooh, top lip, down. And you want to put about this much mouthpiece in your mouth. Okay. So if you guys can see that right there, okay? Uh, maybe not that far down with your teeth, but anyway, so, uh, so just like that. So now I want you to take a nice, deep, relaxed breath in. I want you to count to two while you breathe and then just blow and like that, okay? So ready and I made a noise. I made oh, a okay. noise too. I didn't hear it. Can you try it one more time? Gladly. <laughs> Yay! Good job! All right! That was a lovely okay. sound. Yeah! Oh my goodness, you guys are gonna just take over the world with We're your skills. We're superstars. You are! I want you to hold the clarinet now in the proper way. Uh -huh. And this time I want you to just put your thumb under the thumb rest like that. And then okay. I want you to put your thumb, this thumb, over this little hole right here. All right. Mm -hmm. And over this front hole like this. So All this right. is going to be your first note. This is an E. E. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So hopefully you can get a good grip on the clarinet between here and here. Okay. So bottom lip over bottom teeth. Chin flat, corners in, and then top it down. And while you're pressing these keys down, I want you to take a two second breath and just gently blow through the instrument. And the pitch you're gonna hear is this. Uh huh. Congratulations! That is your very first note on clarinet, and and yeah, now you know the basics. Yeah.
Yay! Yeah. I'm so proud of myself. You should can we, be. Can yes. we learn a song? Oh. Yeah, why not? You want to learn Hot Cross Buns? Yeah. Yes. It's the hit of 2020. Okay, so Hot Cross Buns, it starts right here on E. Mm. e and the next e. note you will learn for Hot Cross Buns is D. D. Yes. Yes. And the next one, one more finger down, C. 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 Yes. Yay. It's gonna sound okay. like this. You want to try? It's really yeah. just these three notes, okay? All right. Yay! Wow, that was so good. That was all me. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, well, I don't know. Should we learn tonguing today too? Or would that just be too much? Actually, I think we just had a stroke of inspiration. A stroke of inspiration? teacher ever. Good job you yeah. guys. Way to go. You guys rock. You don't even need me anymore. Go out. Be awesome. And yeah, thanks for having me teach you one a l one lesson. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh we thank you for joining us on our second first ever lesson. Um <laughs> it truly was a struggle. There were some highs and there were the lows. Uh, the lows were all Justin. Uh, he, yeah, he yeah, you lows. Justin. You Justin. <laughs> he was the lows. But uh, yeah, I'm glad you could come uh, join us. Uh, once again, thank you so much for uh, Cap or to Cali. Uh, uh, thank you for coming on today. It's oh, thank you. you so much for having yeah. me, you guys. I'm really excited about your channel. Uh, we're, we're excited <laughs> too. <laughs> yeah, we're excited too. Hopefully it goes somewhere. We'll see. But uh, yeah, in the meantime, to the audience watching this, uh, remember to click like, subscribe, and maybe hit that notification bell for when we post another uh, video. One more time, one last thanks to Callie. Uh, please, we'll plug her uh, info below to her social media and you can follow or subscribe or whatever. Um, I believe that's about it. So, yeah. Goodbye. We'll see you guys in the next yeah, one. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs>